Hey what's up guys this is Vimal here and welcome back to TRHD. Today I have an awesome new product to show you guys. It's a budget 2-in-1 tablet PC that runs both Android and Windows 10 and I'm very excited to show it to you. This 2-in-1 tablet PC is made by this company called Honda and the model is Obook 20 Plus. Let's tear the packing and take it out. This tablet PC comes in two variants with and without keyboard. I've got the one with the keyboard. I want to thank Geekbuying for sending me this product for review purpose. So here we have two boxes in the packing. One is the keyboard and the other is the tab. We'll check them out one by one. This is the Honda Obook Magnetic Docking Keyboard. The box looks very simple. There is nothing much written on it. And this is the box packing of the Honda Obook 20 Plus Tab. You've got the specs over here. It has a 10.1 inch IPS display, a 64-bit Intel Cherry Trail CPU clocked at 1.84 GHz, Intel HD Graphics 8th Gen GPU, 4GB RAM and 64GB internal storage, has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and also runs Windows 10 plus Android 5.1 Dual OS. The specs look nice for a budget tab. There is nothing else written on it. So let's start with the unboxing of the keyboard first. Let me grab my knife and cut this tape over here. Let's open it. So here is the keyboard. Let's take it out. Wow! This is the magnetic docking keyboard. It's made of plastic and aluminum and definitely feels heavy. It weighs about 530 grams. You've got the contact points over here. It's a plug and play keyboard and is powered by the tab. You also got a trackpad on it. That's nice. And this is how the back looks like. It's made of aluminum and has a Honda branding here. It says Obook Keyboard 2. You've got four rubber foot pads and the build quality looks decent. This is how it looks from the right. It's got a beautiful design over here. You also have a USB port on the keyboard, so you can also connect some external devices like a mouse to it. The thickness varies from the bottom to the top. Okay, we'll just keep it aside for now and check out the actual tab. The Honda Obook 20 Plus comes in this box packing. Let me grab my knife and cut this seal over here. So here it is, the Honda Obook 20 Plus. You've got some paperwork at the top. It's a user manual and the warranty card. Unfortunately, everything is written in Chinese, so it's not of any big use to us. We'll just keep it aside and check out the tab. So here is the Honda Obook 20 Plus. Wow, it looks nice. You've got a Windows touch button over here. It has a 10.1 inch IPS display and has an aluminum back panel. I really love this gold color. Okay, let's peel the sticker on the screen. Oh, it comes with a pre-installed screen guard. That's very nice of them. You've got a 2 megapixel front camera here. This is how beautiful the back looks like. Let me also peel the sticker. Peeling stickers is probably the best part of unboxing. Wow guys, just check out the build quality. It is very nice. You've got the Honda branding here. It says Obook 20 Plus. Let's see what all ports are available on it. You've got a 3.5mm headphone jack, a micro USB port, a micro HDMI port, a DC port for charging the tab, and a speaker. You've got a power button and a volume rocker at the top. The quality of the buttons also feel nice and clicky. You've got nothing on the other side. The thickness of the tab varies from 3.5mm to 8mm and it weighs about 560 grams. At the bottom you've got the docking interface where the keyboard is attached to it. And this is the SD card slot. Along with the tab, you also get a DC adapter cable, an OTG cable and a 5V 2.5A DC power adapter. Ok, it's finally time to power on this device. By the time it boots up, let's go through the specs. It has a 10.1 inch IPS display with a resolution of 1920 by 1200 has an Intel Atom X5 Z8300 CPU clocked at 1.84 GHz, has an Intel HD Graphics 8th Gen GPU, comes with 4GB RAM and 64GB ROM, runs on Android 5.1 and Windows 10 Dual OS, has a single 2 megapixel front camera, packs a 6000mAh battery and weighs about 560 grams. The tab has booted, I've also set up everything on it and installed a few apps. Right now we've booted into Android OS, this is its home screen. It comes with a custom Honda launcher that looks like this. Let's first check out the settings on it. You've got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, display settings. Everything is similar to stock Android settings. Let's check out the storage available on it. Out of total 64 GB, 10 GB is allotted for Android and the remaining is for Windows. Out of 10 GB, you start with 5.5 GB. I've installed a few apps and games and finally I'm left with 3 GB of free space. Let's check out the about section. As you can see, it runs Android 5.1 Lollipop. Nothing much new in the settings. Let's check out the apps. I've installed Antutu on it and ran benchmarks. It scored about 58,000. 
which is a decent score for a tab of this price range. It can easily play a lot of games. I'll show you the gaming performance later in the video. I've also installed Geekbench 4 on it and ran benchmarks. It got a single core score of 848 and a multi core score of 1886. Now let's talk about the display quality. The Honda Obook 20 Plus has a 10.1 inch IPS display with a resolution of 1920 by 1200. The display looks sharp, has a nice 178 degree viewing angle. The colors are good. The contrast is okay. It's not the best I have seen, but in this price range, it has a good quality display. Just have a look at it. The brightness of the screen is set to 40% right now. The display is quite bright and good for media viewing. Now let's test the speaker quality. Let's play a song and see. The audio quality is good, but the audio output level was low. It could have been a little bit more. Now let's check the gaming performance on the Obook 20 Plus. We'll start with a basic game like Temple Run 2 and later go to a graphic intensive game. Ok, let's start the game. It was handling games very well. There were very minimum lags, the performance was good and the touch sensitivity of the display was also nice. This tab can handle basic games very easily. Now it's time to test Asphalt 8. It's a very graphic intensive game. Let's see if the Honda Obook can handle it. I'm playing the game at medium graphic settings and the gameplay feels smooth so far. There are no lags, it handles games very well. Just have a look at this gameplay. I've connected the keyboard to the tab. It looks like a mini laptop, right? This keyboard works on both Android and Windows OS. The trackpad works well. There are no dead zones on it. Let's open Chrome and type something. It's a full size chiclet keyboard. The quality of the keys is good. The keys feel soft and clicky and the keyboard is quite comfortable to use. Removing the keyboard is also very easy. You just need to pull the tab gently like this and there you go. You can keep the keyboard side and use the tab alone. It is very convenient to use. Now let me tell you about the battery life on it. For some reason the stock android settings are not able to provide any details on the battery usage. That's why I need to install this app called Accu Battery. And as you can see, on the first day I discharged it from 83% to 18% and got a screen on time of 1 hour 40 minutes and the total on time was 16 hours 48 minutes. This was on 11th October. Then again I charged it from 8% to 100% and the charging time took about 3 hours 55 minutes. So on an average I was getting about 2 hours of screen on time at 50% brightness and the charging time was about 4 hours. Till now we've seen the Android part of this tab. Now let's check out the Windows OS on it. Switching the OS is very simple. You just need to click on this OS switch tile in the quick settings page and it'll automatically power off and boot into Windows. So this is how Windows 10 looks on this tab. You've got the switch to Android OS application right at the home screen. Let's open my computer. As you can see 45 GB is allotted for Windows partition. But right now only 13 GB is free because I've recently installed the creators update and still did not delete the old version from it. Out of the box, you'll have more than 42 GB storage available. I've also inserted an external SD card of 64 GB in it. Let's check out the system properties. It's running the latest version of Windows 10 and you'll receive updates without any problem. You have most of the basic apps pre-installed on it like the 2017 MS Office, Skype and some other apps. Let me show you the browser performance on it. I won't say it's super fast. It's a little bit slow and takes time to load heavy pages, but it does the job. Let me just open few websites and show you the web page loading times. Now one thing I'd like to tell you guys is, 
Don't expect blazing fast results from this tab. It's a budget friendly tab and performs really well considering the price of only 11,000 rupees without the keyboard. If you want to buy it with the keyboard, it will cost you about 15,000 rupees, which is still a good deal. You can use it as a simple laptop for web browsing, media viewing or also playing games. But don't expect that you can install Photoshop or use it for editing purpose. It is best for on the go use as you can disconnect the keyboard and use it only as a tab which makes it very convenient and portable. Let me show you the camera quality of the front facing camera. This tab has a 2 megapixel camera. The quality is not that bad. It is actually ok in bright daylight. You can see it for yourself. It is good enough to be used for video calls. So that was my review on the Honda Obook 20 Plus 2-in-1 tablet PC. It's a good budget tablet come tab priced only for about 11,000 rupees. It offers a lot for its price point. This tab is much faster on Android rather than Windows 10. The performance was less in Windows, I don't know what the reason was. But still I think it was ok for the price point. So that was it for today guys. This tab is available on Geek Buying. I'll just leave a link to that in the description box below. You can get it from there. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos. And I'll see you in the next one.